Hi everyone, welcome back to another quick Coding with Loose video. So today I want to talk to you about what you can see here, which is the gradient background. And more specifically, the gradient background on a flower in Shell. So those of you that experience in mobile development might know this is kind of the master part of a master detail page. In this case, it's just uh, it's done using Shell, which is the new navigation framework from that came out with Xamarin Forms 4. So if you've ever seen any of that, you might have seen that quite a few people, including David Orton and himself, have um, done gradient backgrounds. So I was like, this is actually pretty cool. I want a gradient background in my application. You know, from a design perspective, I appreciate that maybe this isn't the best colour choice for the gradient, but at least the gradient's working. But there's something that I learned while doing this that probably seems really obvious to some people, but wasn't to me. So I just want to quickly show you how this is put together and just make the very quick point that I learned yesterday when I first got this working. So here we've got the main page that you saw here, which is just space image and then a step layout with a couple of boxes and a login button but of course you know we're here for the gradient so that's done using custom renderers because stuff like you can do stuff like skier sharp or stephen thewisson's pancake view that can do a gradient layout but because of the way that the shell works under the hood it's not supported so the only way you can do it at the moment is with custom renderers now, the way you do custom renderers, if, if you've not done them before, is that you you have to create an implementation of it for each platform that you're targeting. So for Android down here, I've got a renderer that I call the Gradient Shell Renderer. So this was all taken from a how I did this, the code, was taken from a blog post posted by a guy called Ian Vink. I will put a description in the uh, sorry, a link in the video description because you know it's all I credit my sources and it was his blog post that I followed. But we've got two for iOS and Android. So in the iOS layer, project platform, sorry, we've just got some code here. I won't go through too much about how this works because I know that this does the gradient background, but I don't personally yet understand fully how it works. But you can see that it's doing a lot of override of different um, methods. And bearing in mind that it's doing override is kind of the key to what I'll get onto shortly when I've also covered Android. So you've just got the code here that does it for you. And then you've got, you know, you set the color and everything like that. So that's how you do the do the render for iOS. And then on Android, all the code is in that blog post, by the way. So don't worry if it feels like I'm going too quickly. On Android, it's the same again. You've got this assembly where you export the renderer and say that it's a type of shell gradient shell renderer. And we deal with all the different, again, it's the same override methods, just implemented to work on Android rather than iOS. So that's all fairly straightforward, right? If you've ever developed custom renderers yourself in the past, you'll know that once you've got the platform specific implementations, you then in the main in the main project, when you're doing it in say the XAML, for example, you'd actually come across and you'd have a um, you'd add an XML namespace up here that would reference the iOS or Android projects and you'd say Oh no, so oh, no, actually no, correct that. I think you have a shared I can't remember, I've not written any, but I think you have a shared um, shared implementation as well up in the shared project that doesn't say how to implement it but just says that it exists and then in your XAML you can reference it but in here we don't have that and that is because actually you don't need to so the whole point of having all these override methods is that and, and exporting it as a type of shell is that it actually acts as like a man in the middle so when you're using shell <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. When you're using shell, and then you you just implement the shell in this case with the um, stuff related to the flyout, it automatically steps in and actually renders it with your custom renderer. So I wanted to point this out quickly because this this caught me out quite a few times because um, I'll link in the description. But David Ortonal has a great sample app for Xamarin Forms four features called Zappy, where him and and selected honourable guests are live streaming, implementing new features to to the Zappy application to show you things like gradient background in a flyout or you know all sorts of really cool things that you can do. Instead, I'll put a link to the GitHub in the description. It's all open source, so you can poke the code. 
So I was looking through the code myself and I found these platform specific implementations of these renderers, but I was like, but how's it doing it? You know, I was looking through the looking through the code for the shell and I was like, oh, sorry, it's the app shell in his in his app. Like I've got one here. As you can see, it's just a normal shell with bad formatting um, and just a simple flyer item as a title and then just that page that we reference. So there's no reference here whatsoever to our platform custom renderer and that's what confused me. And that's what I want to share with you today is just that when you're doing these these um, doing this implementation, fill in the blog post I'll link or doing it simply from looking at the code that Dave added in his Zappy app. It was confusing me as to how on earth it got implemented and it turns out it just does it for you automatically. So that ends your quick lesson today. I just wanted to share that with you. If you've got any questions about this stuff, by all means, leave a comment or contact me on Twitter. My uh, Twitter handle's at LouchCarter1. If you just reach out to me, I will either point you in the direction of someone who knows or just try and give you a hand. But with that, that is a little secret lesson that I learned about gradient backgrounds in Shell. Bye, everyone.